Hello Libras and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly for October 22nd through the 28th, 2018. So let's check out what's going on this week for your general life as well as your love lives. <laughs> Dogs are very excited in the background as you can probably hear. So hopefully they'll calm down. Alrighty guys. So um, if we are looking to book a private reading as well, all the information on booking a private reading is right below this video in the description box. So all my services, prices, and how to contact me for a reading are all right there. Also, um, if you haven't, go check out um, all your monthlies for October for your Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as your monthly love reading and your Venus retrograde love reading as well. And your other weeklies for all your um, Sun, Moon, and Rising should be up by now too, okay? So, Libras, let's take a look at what's going on this week. Also, please remember that this reading won't resonate for every single Libra out there. It's just not possible to pick up on every single message for every single one of you. But again, that's why we have private readings. <laughs> so, Libras, what are the main focuses, challenges, issues this week that we will be facing? Situations, challenges, issues, opportunities. Ooh, judgment. We're in a judgment moment here this week, Libras. So, we are looking at the things that no longer serve us within our lives right now, and we are deciding, um, you know, what to get rid of, what to move on from, what to you know, how to get past this situation that we're in here. We're in a judgment situation. Something has come to the front here and something must be changed. We cannot hide from it. See how the angels come out here and they cannot hide. Um, that's really, that really is I, one of my favorite parts about this is that, you know, the angels are coming out, they're trumpeting, everyone's coming out. And you get these guys who are trying to cover themselves up here. They're trying to get out of the situation. But to make progress in the future, we must um, have carried out all that which came from our past. This indicates that we need to have responsibility for our actions here. So if we we're trying to hide from responsibility, trying to hide from the truth, it will find us this week, Libras. All right, what else is coming in this week for my Libras? Main focuses, challenges, situations. What will they be going through as we move into Scorpio on the 23rd and out of their um, sign and into that full moon and Taurus energy for October 24th? What can my Libras expect this week? Moving towards that full moon, what will be happening? Challenges, opportunities, situations that will be coming to a head for them. The magician, trying to... Um, find our way through this. So we're in a judgment moment here and we're trying to scrap together what we can. It kind of feels like, you know, the universe has called us out on something. It's like, okay, time to address this, time to deal with this situation. And you're like scrambling to get all your shit together here, honestly, is what it feels like. Oh God, I need to get this together. I need to go and, you know, I need, if I want this to work out, I'm going to have to do it this way or I'm going to have to, you know, talk to this person. We're, it kind of feels almost like a scrambling energy. The magician, um, while he can manifest and, you know, create what he wants with all of his skills here and saying that, you know, you have every every tool that you need to move forward. Um, the search for truth must pass, must pass, oh my god, I cannot speak. The search for truth must pass both through reason and through emotion, inquisitiveness. So yeah, it's all about being inquisitive, about looking at things from a different perspective. If you want to find the truth in this situation, you're going to have to dig deeper. You're going to have to really think about it. And you're going to have to, um, you know, Bring about some changes within your life here. This is telling me that there needs to be changes that need to be brought about here. So what are we, what is going to be coming out around that Taurus full moon for my Libra? So what situation, challenge, opportunity will be important on this day? What will come to a head on this day? What can they expect around October 24th, 2018, where that full moon in Taurus energy? What can, what is it going to bring forward, bring forth for my Taurus? This, oh my God, I almost just said Taurus. <laughs> Because I got the full moon in Taurus for my Libras. What is that full moon in Taurus going to bring out for my Libras? What important situation will come to a head? Something with the King of Wands. Something about passion. Something about um, moving forward here. Maybe something to do with a fire sign. And where will they be after that Taurus full moon? Where will they be after that Taurus full moon? We get the wheel. Things are turning in our favor. Um, there are going to be some changes going on here. You know, we might have been on the lower end of the wheel, we might be turning and seeing where we end up here. So the wheel um, in this deck is really, really interesting. It talks a lot about how wisdom is attained by not letting oneself get wrapped up in the suffering of the world. Wisdom is found and um, wisdom is found in never ceasing to complete it. So yeah. Um, time. So this is all about divine timing. The timing has come for a change here. Some you know, this is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Um 
so in this type of situation, we need to not let ourselves get wrapped up within the suffering of a situation. We must see it for what it is and move forward here is really what I'm getting. We must not get wrapped up in the suffering, the emotions of a situation. We must allow time to bring us forward into um, what it is trying to bring us to. So, you know, the universe is saying, all right, time's up for a situation here. Time is up here. There's something that needs to be brought forward. There's something that needs to be changed. You need to change here. Something needs to be reworked. Something must, um, you know, turn. There must be a situation that has come to an end and time is saying it's over. Whatever the situation is, it's time to move on from this situation. We cannot get wrapped up within it and trying to, you know, salvage it, trying to make it happen. Um, the King of Wands here, really interesting place for him on that Taurus full moon as well. So let's check that out a little bit because I'm interested. Um, the King of Wands, King of Wands, he feels really... I and mean, we're going to pull some clarifiers um, with my Hobby deck, actually. Um, but the King of Wands, the master, that which teaches is more precious than, than that which knows. So yeah, we're learning a situation... Um, we're lear this is a learning experience. What I'm getting here, um, Libras, we're going through a huge learning experience. The universe is kind of testing us here is what I'm getting. It's brought something to the forefront so that we must deal with it. This is not something that we can ignore anymore. We are learning something from this. Whether we want to or not, the time is up on this situation, and it will be forced to turn whether we like it or not. So interesting. <laughs> it seems like very powerful energy. There's a lot of huge shifts. I feel like you guys were not the only sign that are getting really pushed this week, getting really pushed out of a situation that maybe you didn't want to leave. Um, so it seems like you guys are trying to ma make something work here, but the King of Wands and the Wheel, I'm really feeling like this is the end of a cycle, especially with judgment. This is like making me feel like we're trying to get our shit together, trying to salvage it, trying to prove that it's one thing. When in reality, we know that we are learning an important lesson and that that lesson is teaching us that something is coming to an end here. So let's see, Libras. What is important about that Taurus full moon? What is coming out around that Taurus full moon? Or actually, let's do some clarifiers. We have a lot of major arcana here. Let's clarify judgment and the magician for my Libras. Was coming forward this week. What are the situations this week that Judgment and the Magician allude to? Please clarify Judgment and the Magician. This challenges situations, opportunities that at the beginning of the week here for my Libras. Please clarify the situations concerning Judgment and the Magician. The King of Coins. So, hmm, interesting, interesting. There may be something to do with an Earth sign. Somebody is bringing something forward for you. Either that or, you know... Something that is very established in your life is a change is being brought to it. You know, focus is being brought out on it here. Something that feels really abundant. Somebody that gives something to you. Somebody that gives you... I don't know. Let's see. The judgment of the Magician for my Libras this week. What does it mean? Clarify. What's happening here? Judgment and Magician. The world, yeah, there's an ending of a cycle, ending of a chapter here. Somebody is saying that whether we feel, whether we, we're trying to ground ourselves here on Monday in this energy. We're trying to ground ourselves. And Libras, the universe is like, too bad. This cycle is over. The chapter is over. We cannot be grounded within this anymore. You can't ground yourself at the end of a, a chapter here is what it's saying. That'd be nice, but um, we can't do that. It's an abundant, it's in a close to an abundant chapter. What is happening around that Libra full moon that we need to know about here? Too many cards at once here. I feel like it's something that we don't want to face considering the Four of Cups has popped out a couple times. It's something we're waiting for something else because we don't want the message that we're getting right now. We don't want this message of completion. Magician, the King of Wands, please clarify this for my Libras this week. What does this mean for the Taurus moon? What are the main focuses, situations challenges opportunities that we're going to be brought to a head on that taurus full moon for my libras show me what is coming to a head on the taurus full moon for my libras people we could also be working very hard um you know and when it, maybe it's at work we're going through a huge transformation a lot of changes at work we're trying to adapt to it trying to um you know maybe we could also be getting um ending one chapter at work and getting a better a bigger raise having more money come in um we could be looking at you know they could be like hey if you stay for this next month or so we're going to give you this type of money we're going to give you a raise a vacation or something it does seem like um as this wheel turns as timing moves forward the king of wands is going to gift you with something here we're getting more responsibility we're getting um alert we're learning something new almost it kind of feels like maybe we're learning a new skill and we're going to have more responsibility and money coming in with it. 
And this is a career situation, so let's see. But, you know, the past one is over. We're getting more responsibility. You have to move on and, you know, accept that you're getting more responsibility. But with it, it does seem like we're getting more money, more power. What's happening around that Taurus moon? Come on, give me some clarifiers here. What's going on? Clarify it. And this is my Hieronymus Bosch deck, by the way. Um, and then this is my Hobbit deck. So I almost forgot to show you guys my books here. Bosch Tarot. Hobbit Tarot. Okay. Get the Seven of Swords. Oh, something that you don't know is coming out here. Big stuff here. Something that we don't want to face. Something that somebody has been sneaky about. Something that has been really sneaky or somebody has been sneaky in a situation here. And that's what the Taurus Moon is bringing out here. It's bringing out the truth of a situation that we don't even see. There's something going on here that we don't see. So keep an eye out for shady people. Somebody's trying to screw you over and do something here. It's coming out in that Taurus Moon for my Libras. Ooh. Three of Coins reverse. Somebody um, could be... Hmm could be building something with somebody else. They could be saying, hey, you're going to get this job. You're going to get this situation. And in reality, they're helping somebody else. I mean, it could be a love situation where it's a third-party situation, honestly. Or, you know, that they don't want to build this with you anymore because they have somebody else they want to build something with. Or somebody else they want to have a future with here that they're keeping under wraps that they're lying to you about. Um, again, this is we're not doing the love reading yet, though. So let's see. What else is coming out? What does this Taurus full moon bring out for my Libras? Where will they be? After this Taurus full moon, with the King of Wands and the Wheel. What does it bring out with that Seven of Swords? What is what is that Seven of Swords for the Taurus full moon for my Libras? Ooh, what's coming out here? Oh my god, that literally just fell like that. How crazy is that? I like opened my eyes and there it was. <laughs> Eight of Coins reverse. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to work on it anymore. That we're not working on this anymore. We're not trying to move forward. This person, you realize, is not trying to build things with you anymore. Whatever the situation is that they've lied about. You know, again, the magician speaks of, you know, something coming out about somebody that you believed was the magician that you believed was magic. Okay, so now I'm getting a different story for you guys here. Uh, again, like, all these will, you know, resonate with different Libras, so or they might not resonate with you at all. But, you know, this is going to resonate for some Libra out here because it's coming in strong. Somebody has presented themselves to be this abundant, amazing person. However, the time... Something is coming out about this person. Something is coming out about an earth sign, whether they be a boss, a partner, somebody who's very abundant, who gives you, who helps you. Um, somebody who has a lot of control, um, is really focused on jobs and money and situations like that. I mean, it could be a partner, it could uh, just be a friend or a boss. But something is coming out about this person that they are not who they say they are. They are comparing as When I see the magician here, now I'm getting a really shady feeling with the seven of swords here and all the other cards in this deck. This is shady. This is saying that something is coming out here and we must face the truth about somebody that we believed was better than they were. We believe that they were this person. We believe they were magical. They could bring all this stuff to us. They're wonderful, amazing, incredible. They're not that. They are not that. You need to end this chapter with them. This is a third party situation or something bad is going on here where they are taking from you and they no longer want to build with you even though they are appearing as the magician. They're appearing as the king of wands. But the time is coming here where this will come out in the open. So the seven of swords is there and what I'm saying is if this doesn't come out this week and we don't end this this week, you will realize that there is no work to be put in here. There is nothing that can save this. The foundation is now gone. There are no people that are support that are supporting this person. There are no people that are supporting this situation, and it is time to move forward. This is negative. Oh, this feels so negative. Wow. Whatever this situation, whatever this person is, this is all the same person. This is all the same person. This is not you guys. You aren't even showing up in your reading this week, and. All it's telling you is the universe is like, we want to give you better things. We want to give you the better life. We want to give you what you deserve. Allow this energy to leave. There's no work that can be put in on this anymore that can save this situation. There is nothing here. There's nothing but hidden problems. There is a, this person who is appearing as a magician, who is appearing as the king of wands, as the king of coins here, is a fake. They are hiding something. And I can't stress that enough, Libras. Do not trust this person. You will know who this person is for all of you. Okay? When, you guys will know who this person is. And you will be like, oh, no, they would never do this. They, they're, they like, on my side. They're on my team. They're trying to help me. No, they're trying to leave you powerless. They are trying to leave you powerless. They're trying to take something from you. They're trying to take your money, your job situation, and make you believe that you cannot move forward. When the universe is trying to give you everything, the universe is like, I want to give you it all. The time has now come for you to make the decision. Will you stay with this person and allow them to or stay in this job situation where they're, like, taking from you and making you believe you can't make money elsewhere, you can't have a job elsewhere, you can't have this situation in abundance? elsewhere when the universe is literally like 
you can. Let me give it to you. Let me give it to you, Libras. Let me give it to you. So, um, interesting, guys. Really interesting. See, and Scylla is even saying, whatever the situation is, leave. So, let's see, actually, a little thing of advice. It's your last birthday week, or, um, I mean, by the time you're, you're probably seeing this, I mean, I, don't, I wonder how many Libras have a birthday the last couple days. You know, if you do, guys, happy birthday. So, let's see again. Any advice for them this week? Getting through this week, advice. Advice for my Libras, because you are you and my Scorpios need a little extra shove this week. It's going through a lot of intense changing. Scorpios, Libras. There's a couple other signs that are going through it. I can't really remember. Might have been Virgos. Let's see. I think it was Cap. I think it was Virgos. Advice for them to get through this week here. Woo! Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally just covered my mouth. I'm Libras. My Libras. My baby Libras. I'm so sorry, guys. This is an intense week. As you can hear from the background, you can hear Siska yowling in the, in the background here. As I pull out the tower, we know we're going to be in pain this week. We're going to be in a difficult time here. This is a huge situation that is coming to an end. A massive massive ending coming very suddenly so you know what guys be on top of it you be the person to bring about the tower i always say it's much better when you're the person bringing about the tower than somebody springing that on you we are approaching a tower moment this week libras and my heart is with you my heart is with you okay so that's gonna be different for all of us but we i think a lot of you guys are gonna be approaching this tower moment or maybe you're thinking of a tower moment that just happened or it is in the future i think for most of you guys it has not happened yet and that this is coming in we're going through a massive shift something is ending here Something has to come to an end for that wheel to turn to give you the life that you deserve, okay? And be prepared for that. The universe wants to give you a better life. Allow it to come in. Allow this tower moment to happen, even if it is painful, okay? So don't be afraid of the tower when it comes up. Allow those changes, allow those endings to come in, even if you don't want them to, even if we're not ready for it. You know what? It's time to grow up. Time to fucking grow up is what the tower always says to me is grow the fuck up. You don't want it coming in. It's going to come in anyways. That's life. Grow the fuck up. Um, I don't mean that in a negative way, my Libras. I just want you to stay strong and bolstered through this situation. Okay, so let's look at love and romance. Because now I am 17 minutes in, which is not where I want it to be for getting to your love and romance part. <laughs> love and romance for my Libras this week. We're using my Huron, not Huron Esposh deck, sorry. We're using my um, Gustav Klimt's deck. What are decks here? Libras for love and romance for October 22nd through 28th, 2018. What do they need to know? Um, at the beginning of the week as we move into Scorpio. It's going to be happening for my Libras. Nine of Swords, your worst nightmares. Damn, Libras, what's going on this week with you guys? We're going through some huge shifts, and you guys are not accepting them very well. But you know what? As Libras, we want balance. We want things to always be balanced and always be perfect and always be okay. But you know what, Libras? Allow it to just freak out for a little bit because then things will balance themselves out and you will find a way through. So don't freak out because things aren't balanced right now. So this is stress, anxiety, insomnia, thinking about your worst nightmares. This is not where you want it to be. Eight of Swords are worse, but we must release ourselves from this prison because this is where we are. This is where we are, Libras. As we move towards that Taurus full moon, accept where you are. Open yourself up to the, um, the powers of the universe here and, and pushing you forward. You will be pushed forward towards a better destiny, a better truth, a better future. If you allow yourself to stop believing that, you know, oh, woe is me, everything bad always happens to me, nothing good ever happens to me, everything goes wrong, what do I have to believe in? Like, I don't mean to say no whiny voice because everybody's been there, I've been there. But you know what? You can't be like, oh, my life is over. Everything is over. And there's no point moving forward. Come on, y'all are stronger than that. Grow up. That's what I'm getting here with the Eight of Swords is that we're growing up. We're like seeing, we're having that feeling towards the beginning of the week. And as we move towards that Taurus full moon, we're getting grounded. And we're like, hey, wait a second. I'm allowing this person to push me around. I'm allowing this situation to fuck me over here. And I don't need to. Pardon my French, guys. For those of you who don't like swearing, sorry. That's just who I am. So let's check out what's happening on the Taurus full moon for love and relationships for my Libras. What is coming in on the Taurus full moon for love and relationships for my Libras? What situation will be brought to a head? Opportunities, offers, challenges for my Libras for that Taurus full moon. Ooh, oh my God, there he is again. I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles is all around you guys this week. This That energy of, those, um, of the person in the last half of your reading. Um, he's back and he's negative and he's being a dick. And he wants to take something from you. 
He was once filled with abundance and love, and now he's taking from you. He's being selfish. You realize a situation for what is because we are opening our eyes. So if we are in a relationship with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we are. it seems like we're. this person is a nightmare. We're realizing that they're a nightmare this week and that they are not good for us. And around that Taurus full moon, they're proving how negative they are, how bad they are, and what they have actually taken from us. They're being selfish. They're acting out. Whatever types of things that they are doing are only going to bolster themselves, and they don't care about you in the situation. However they're acting is extremely, extremely selfish, mean, negative, hurtful. Ooh, and at the end of the week, we get the temp we get um the Empress reversed, feeling really down and out, really out of luck here, really in a bad situation. So if you guys are in a relationship or going through a tough time, maybe a breakup, maybe a really bad breakup. Somebody that once made you feel, <clears throat> sorry, somebody that once made you feel like the world is making you feel like the worst. This person, hold on one second. All right, so here we go here. Pentacles, Empress, Reverse. So negative situation, whoever this is, they've hurt you. All right, clarify anything around that Taurus full moon for love and romance here for my Libras. We're make the, ooh, yes, the, we don't want to face the end of a chapter here. We're afraid to face the end of a chapter, but there is a chapter that is closing out here, and the energy is blocked because we have been blocking it. But we have to let it go. This is energy that must turn. When the, wheel, when the world is reversed, there is huge energy trying to shift, and you're hugely blocking it. Whatever this is, whatever this situation is with this person, if it's a relationship, you don't want it to end. But the time has come now for this to end. This is over. I'm sorry, Libras. I really am. Whoever this person is really seems like they're not fucking worth it. They seem like they hurt you. They make you crazy. This is this not this is a card of manipulation, mental manipulation, pain. Somebody's manipulating you, and you're realizing it. You realize that they've let you believe like that you were this person when you're actually the Empress upright. You're much better than that, and you know it. And he knows it. Whoever, she knows it. He knows it. Whoever this again, I don't gender my cards, um, but whoever this other person is in the relationship, they know it, and they're messing with you they don't want it to end either there's lack of communication lack of moving forward here why aren't we moving forward we see what the problem is here libras move forward grow a pair and move forward i don't mean to be mean but this energy wants to leave and it wants to give you better things let it go let it go these as i'm saying this i hope that you guys can hear siska and the dogs in the background flipping out because see, every time I say end it and all this stuff is coming forward, the tower, they've been yowling and barking. And I always take that stuff as synchronicities where something is very wrong and you have a lot of signs, a lot of people maybe even telling you that this is wrong and a problem and that you need to get out of it. The four of swords, impatience, not like you're not facing it. And by the, you've been waiting so long in this situation that you're starting to believe that the people who are backing you are not backing you in this situation. This person's got you all fucked up and turned around. So open your eyes this week, Libras. Um, I'm going to do a Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle now as your last um, card of advice. And then we will be all set, okay? All right, Libras, what do we need to know? Advice for getting through this week for my Libras advice. Yeah, you guys are really blocking this. Stop blocking this. Libras, damn it. This is like, I know you guys are blocking this. You guys are in conjunction with this person's manipulation. You're blocking a situation from ending that needs to come to an end. This needs to come to an end, is what all these cards are saying. You have way too many major arcana here that are saying this needs to come to an end, and that this is over. So this is a really strong message for those of you out here who are trying to make negative and bad relationships work. Wow! The vampire. Emotional intelligence. All right, let's... Pop on this guy here. All right. The deepest, the coldest, the craving of blood, the hole never filled, the longing like a flood. Emotional intelligence. So we need this week, Libras. Wow, these cards are amazing. Should the vampire card appear in your reading, it may indicate that you are being drained in this way and the time has come for stronger boundaries. We need to be very aware of what gives us energy in our lives and what takes it away. We should be aware of needing people to need us and why we invite people like this into our homes, workplaces, and lives, if indeed we have them around us. Developing the emotional intelligence within ourselves to help us defend against this kind of emotional and psychic attack um, and enables us to foster us to foster healthy, equal relationships of all kinds. So if you feel, you know, you guys need to realize that there's somebody in your life that is manipulating you, that is taking from you, and you are allowing them to do this by not looking at the signs here. There are so many signs. The tower is trying to come in bring you a new life and crash this down. Let it. 
okay? Stop being afraid of the pain. Stop being afraid of, oh, woe is me. Where's the future going from here? Time to let it go. Time to move on, Libra, so that we can be better and that we can have a better life, all right? Don't mean to be harsh this week. I'm usually nicer, but your sweet guides and the energies that I'm getting here, I really want you to let this go and move forward, okay? So, Libras, check out your other videos. Give me a subscribe, a like, and comment below if you like weeklies, mid-monthlies, more. Comment your favorite scary movie, Halloween movie. Um, and thank you guys so much. Check out all your other videos for your month of October. Bye.